Um, my name is Dr. Lim. I'm one of the hospital medical officers in Goban Valley Health, the Shepparton Hospital. So I started as an intern here as Goban Valley Health, and then I carried on as a resident. And during that period, I decided that I wanted to do an emergency medical certificate. And therefore, I had to organize a six-month rotation, and that's how I got into the program and such. So I'm Janagan Kandasamy. I'm one of the residents working in the emergency department. So I started GB Health last year, exactly one year ago. So this is my first job and maybe a dream job in Australia. So I landed in the regional life and I'm enjoying the regional life. My name is Basim Iskander. I'm one of the senior doctor at the GV Health ED department. It's a very good program for just any doctor to do, simply because whether you join um, a specific program, you're ready in medicine or in surge, emergency situations crop up everywhere. And so being able to deal with that will help us in any scenario. And therefore I'd say that anyone should who is interested in handling acute cases to basically join the program. I get that it's six months, but I would still encourage it because as part of the course as well, we do uh, acute life support, CPRs, handling the situation, learning to be a team leader, which I never knew was um, really important until I did it. From my perspective, I would say for international medical graduates, especially the IMGs, whoever coming on a standard pathway without a full registration. This course is like a preliminary step to go on, achieve more heights. Yeah, well, I would recommend it for a lot of people to start with, uh, if they want to do any type of jobs they're going to do. But it's very important if you got a basic ED structured training, it will help you whatever the pathway you're going to take in the future. Basically, it's a competency program where we do several procedures, as well as um, see se uh, certain cases that's part of the requirements, have um, certain case presentations and such with our supervisors, all in order to be efficient or proficient in sort of um, general emergency skills. So a lot of um, uh, teaching online and uh, some of the maneuvers we did it were under the supervision of our consultant in ED. So uh, it's very good, good education structure program for us. Yeah. Because you don't need a general service, like what you call general registration to do this course. You can do it with your provisional registration and it's just a six month course. Mm -hmm. It will give you more hands on skills. And I did all the things back at home, but it's, it's a bit chaotic in there, but here it's like very controlled environment and very observed and supervised environment. Well, it's a very good course for you to learn the basics and how to deal uh, with emergency cases for a very good level as well so you give you more co more confidence in doing it and uh, you know how to do it in a proper way. The reason why I wanted to do the emergency certificate program was because in my head I envisioned a doctor as someone who can handle emergency situations and initially when I started off as an intern I was very nervous, pretty scared, timid and I didn't know how to handle like you know like I said acute cases and how to handle it on my own. So by doing this program, I've learned how to, number one, gain confidence, number two, know how to and when to ask for help, and number three, manage it if I should not have any or how to take control of the situation. And I guess the whole purpose of that was to help me personally as a general, just as a doctor, as well as to help me for my future as becoming a general practitioner, especially if I'm gonna to move to Northern Territory next year, I'm gonna be placed in a rural region where I may be the only doctors handling situations. So this emergency certificate program I felt would be adequate for me to handle such cases. Maybe not to the best of some senior doctors, but working towards that. From the comments or from the feedback, I improved myself further and further. So I managed to finish the exam and managed to gain the certificate. So I'd like to thank all my colleagues and others to be supporting to me in all this year.